So the EDGE Network is a growing community of leaders that are imagining both new ways of being church in the world and also imagining a new world that in some ways we're all yearning for. I'm Rob Dalgleish. I'm the recently retired founding director of the EDGE Network. EDGE was established as an initiative of the National Office of the United Church of Canada to help congregations renew their ministry. When you use the word church, most people think of what I call the box book and preacher. <laughs> There's a building probably a century or so old with hard wooden pews. There's a professional clergy. The central piece is on Sunday morning, and the minister preaches from the book, and uh, the people hear the word that way. But church is not necessarily in that form. It's just been in that form for centuries. But really, church is about a community of compassion and justice. It's about spiritual practice that can help connect us to each other and to God, the divine. A spiritual improviser is someone willing to play with the, the deepest themes that they can find, that I can find. There's a spiritual quality to it that I'm listening for all the time. I'm trying to, trying to hear in myself, but probably more importantly, try to I hear it in, in you guys. <laughs> when we're talking right now, there's literally any conversation you've ever stepped into in your life is an improvised conversation. You know, unless you have rehearsed word for word what you're gonna say. We always want to. We wanna stand in front of the mirror and think about how we're gonna ask that person to go on a date or, or how are we gonna tell our boss that we wanna raise or this or that, but like what actually happens on that exact moment is improvisation. I love the idea that there's a risk involved. <laughs> the potential for a new sound to come in to play that maybe you've never heard of, or a combination of sounds that's new, I think is the, the, the risk and the payoff. It could go either way. The, the people that I always love to play with are the ones who are okay with that risk and they're okay with any of the outcomes because it's worth it. It's worth it even if you fail. It turns out that maybe this box book and preacher model is not the only or maybe even the best form for that to happen right now. And so these spiritual entrepreneurs are imagining new ways to do that community that connects us to a gospel, a story, a, a person in the, you know, of Jesus. And creates that community and that connection, you know, in a different form and makes a difference in the world. of the church is to embody that vision of justice and love that God has for the world. That's church, not just the box book and preacher. So yeah, that language of being church, it's embodying that community of compassion, justice, love, um, abundance, life in new ways.